It's Tuesday, August the 22nd, and this is your Barbados Today Morning News Update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. Topping the news at this hour, the Royal Barbados Police Force has issued a strong warning to women and girls who take to party scenes or entertainment events across the island. The caution comes in the wake of reports of date rapes and sexual assaults of young women, especially through the use of a drug-laced ice which is said to be undetectable when placed in drinks. While police spokesman Acting Inspector Roland Cobbler says the force has not received any official reports of women being date raped, he has endorsed a call by the National Organization of Women for girls and women to be vigilant. We don't have any, we don't have any official reports, I can't see any official report that has been made to the police about anybody who is reporting being raped with use of date drugs. Okay. Okay, so the, main, the fact is that Persons must take the, the warning being given by the, the PO or the president of that organization and be mindful of, you know, who they go with and who they take drinks from because at the end of the day, the reality is that there are some persons who may have access to, to these drugs that can be used to take advantage of the persons who may not be aware of what's happening. Government is considering the establishment of a special school to deal with students who have special learning deficits. This has been revealed to Barbados today by Minister of Education Ronald Jones, who, though not able to put a timeline on the school's establishment, said the groundwork was already being laid through government's thrust in early childhood education. But we also know that we were able to pick up um, um, and all kinds of deficits um, in, our, in our children at a very early stage. And once we're able to do the remediation as necessary, it means that we're better able to cater to children with dyslexia, um, other learning challenges, attention um, deficit disorder, or attention hyperactivity disorder, mm -hmm. or, or any um, of, of those challenges we present. We are, we are currently looking at um, a specialized school that once you pick those challenges up early, mm -hmm. you can start your program of remediation at, at an earlier time than when you pick them up uh, when a child is in primary school, so that there's going to be intervention at that level as well for our ch early, early childhood children. One of the main features of Carrie Festa 13 is the grand market currently underway at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Centre and the expectations among those taking part are high. It was a slow start in terms of some craft exhibitors, but some of them told Barbados today they are hoping things would pick up in the coming days. Angela Robertson from Guyana said she was expecting good business in due course, adding that while some people were promising to return and make purchases, a uh, few were already buying. I'm expecting from Carifesta 13, the great turnout in business because I'm a businesswoman for 20 years which I've been seeing that there's an improvement in the turnout because I was there two days before now and so far the buyers are coming but they're saying they will be coming back later some buy a few things so that make me that give me a little encouragement that business is going to improve for the last couple of days from now. Director of Events Management and Production at the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission, Gregory Sims, said he was looking forward to sharing best practices. So we've been connecting with those who studied in Jamaica, who was as interested about Jamaica, um, persons who want to do workshops with us, even as far as bartending. We've had conversations about that. We've had conversations with uh, ministry officials here and from your own foundation seeing how we can see what happens in Barbados, what happens in Jamaica, how we can share the best practices and, and build good relationships going ahead. In sports, Chris Gale and Marlon Samuels have been named in the West Indies squad for the one-day series against England. Their inclusion comes after a temporary amnesty between their union and the team's cricket board. Now, the West Indies policy usually means players are only selected for international duty if they feature in the same format in domestic cricket. The first of five one-day internationals takes place at Old Trafford on September the 19th. There's regional and international news after this short break.
Good morning, Phyllis and Company, may I help? Oh, certainly, one moment, please. Miss Phillips, yeah. there's a lady on the line from the nation newspaper who would like to speak with you. The nation? Wish you could go on? Well, they're trying to sell us some ads. <laughs> no, don't make me laugh this morning. Ads in the nation? <whistles> they're real expensive, and for one year, nobody ain't buying them papers no more. Nobody ain't want to steal news. I hear reading Barbados today online for free. So I tell she thanks for calling, but no thanks. We just advertise in Barbados Today families. Tell she is Barbados Today all the way. Okay, I'll pass on the message. Mom, are you still there? Oh, she, she does, she put down. The Barbados Today, news you can trust. Welcome back with news from the region now. A recent spate of gun-related murders in the Bahamas have forced authorities to introduce new crime-fighting strategies. After meeting with the top brass of the police force, National Security Minister Marvin Dames has announced a more aggressive approach to gun crime, the establishment of a crime watch and prevention council, and a review of the police force. On the global front, the UK is cracking down on social media hate crimes. An aristocrat was jailed last month for posting a bounty of £5,000 sterling on Facebook to have a woman who had challenged Brexit taken out. More in this Euro News report. Hate crime, the scourge of social media. But with cases of online abuse underreported in Britain, authorities are taking a stand. In new guidelines, the Crown Prosecution Service says hate crimes committed on platforms like Facebook and Twitter must be dealt with just as seriously as face-to-face -face abuse. It follows a number of high-profile cases, including racially aggravated threats against Brexit challenger Gina Miller. Last month, a British aristocrat was sentenced to 12 weeks in jail after offering 5,000 pounds on Facebook to anyone who quote accidentally ran her over and finally here's something to think about a woman in India has been granted a divorce from her husband because his home did not have a toilet a family court in the northern state of Rajasthan ruled in favor of the woman who argued her husband's inability to provide her with an internal toilet for five years of their marriage amounted to cruelty. The judge said village women generally endured physical pain while waiting for darkness to relieve themselves outside their homes. The judge described the lack of sanitation as shameful and torturous. Something to think about. And that's news and the sports, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadistoday.bb. Also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We are also on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and the gas stations near you at Wesel Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.